Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Nine of Wands. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next, I'll briefly explain what the Nine of Wands means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed position in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so you can relate the card to a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot deck in this video. You'll find the link to this deck below as well as to the many books that I've used in my research. So let's get started. In the Nine of Wands, we see a beat-up young man holding a wand. He is wearing a gray shirt. Over it is a brown tunic with his sleeves rolled up, leggings, and green boots. He has a bandage on his head. His expression is showing either fear or alertness. He is standing on a gray stage. Behind him we see eight wands. In the background are green hills and a clear blue sky. When the Nine of Wands shows up in a reading, it means that we should have courage when we are faced with adversity and be willing to continue fighting. It's about persevering to overcome challenges. Basically, don't give up. Let's go back to what we saw in the card and discuss what each element symbolizes. In this card, we see a beat-up young man holding onto a wand. He is wearing a gray shirt. Gray represents neutrality, so it's almost like he doesn't have any deep feelings about this experience. Over it is a brown tunic with his sleeves rolled up as if he's ready to fight. His brown tunic is not flashy and shows that he is very practical. His leggings and green boots would normally represent vitality. However, he is pretty beaten up, so it likely represents the reverse. He is very tired. He has a bandage on his head that also indicates he has been beaten up. The white indicates that he is feeling spiritually defeated or has some kind of psychic wound. His expression is showing either fear or alertness. He is certainly very aware of what is going on around him. He is standing on a gray stage. Gray represents neutrality. Stages are where you go to separate yourself from your situation and think about your life. So he is pausing from whatever has wounded him and taking stock of what to do next. Behind him, we see eight wands. Wands are all about action and relate to the element of fire. These wands can show that he has too much on his plate and it has taken his toll. However, he's not hiding from his problems. He's just ignoring them and taking a break. In the background, we can see green hills. Green represents health, vitality, and hope. The cloudless blue sky shows clarity of thought. He is not defeated, but just taking a break to regroup. When the Nine of Wands appears upright in a reading, it can mean that you've had some kind of setback or been hurt, that you fought long and hard to get where you are, that you are extremely tired and trying to hold yourself together, that you are very tough, you are continuing to fight despite being wounded, your faith is being tested, you have taken on more than you can handle, someone has tested your boundaries, or you are spending time alone to reassess your situation. Here's an example of the upright reading from my life. My friend's mother just lost her battle to cancer. It was such a sad situation and she didn't seem to catch a break. Every time she took a step forward, she ended up taking two steps back. She got chemo in her hand and her hand swelled to the point it was unrecognizable. She finally got a port put in so she could get the chemo, and then that site got infected. She'd be doing better, and then she got COVID numerous times. I privately wondered if she was better just giving up, but she never did. She was determined to win the battle, which, sadly, she did not. When the Nine of Wands appears reversed in a reading, it can mean that you are choosing to escape your problems rather than summon the courage you need to deal with them. It can mean you don't believe you'll win the fight, you're ready to give up and find a way out, that you are unprepared to face obstacles, that you are being paranoid. Look at the expression on his face. 
It's interesting that we don't see any other people in this card, so you wonder if the battles he's facing might be internal. Could also mean that you've reached a dead end or that you don't have enough energy to continue. So here's an example of a reversed reading from my life. It's not very dramatic, but it's about deciding that I didn't have enough energy to continue fighting. Many years ago, I decided to take a jewelry making class. I'd wandered into a bead store in a mall and loved what I saw. My kids were young and it seemed like a good way to get out of the house for an evening, but it ended up being an incredibly frustrating experience. I was very far-sighted and couldn't see up close, which was needed for making jewelry. I also had an astigmatism, so things were always distorted. Plus, I'm also not very coordinated, and I didn't have the fine motor coordination needed to make jewelry. I honestly wasn't prepared for these obstacles on something that was supposed to be fun. After a couple of lessons, it became clear that I didn't have the ability to make jewelry, plus I hated it. I reached a dead end in my jewelry making career and stopped taking the classes. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Nine of Wands. Number one, what are you battling in your life? Number two, is it time to stand your ground? Number three, are you choosing to face your problems or to escape them? Number four, is it time to persevere or time to let go? Number five, is it possible that you're being paranoid and your problems aren't real? I'd love to have you post your answers or insights in the comment portion of this video. And please join me as we discuss the next card, the Ten of Wands.